All right, I don't know if I can do math today. It's Monday, but we'll try. So we have number 10, uh, the vector that we have been given is D, and it has vector horizontal components, negative 3, 1 third I plus 5 halves J, and we want the unit vector. So to do that, we need to find the magnitude. So we start by doing the magnitude of vector D which we do by using the Pythagorean theorem. So negative one third squared plus five halves squared. And then one ninth plus 25 fourths. We want a common denominator, which I think is 36. So that'll be 4 over 36. And then 25 times 9. That would be 45 times 5. Two, two, two. 45 times 5. 225? So that gives us 225 over 36 which gives us 229 over 36. And does 229 happen to have a perfect square? I doubt it does, but just to make sure. Nope, 229 is not a perfect square, which I didn't think it was. So that leaves us with the square root of 229 over 6. Okay. So now to find the unit vector, we take this vector and we just divide by the magnitude. And that will change the magnitude of this to 1 instead of to this weird square root 229 over 6. So we're going to divide this by square root 229 over 6. We're going to divide this by square root 229 over 6. So then I'm going to copy dot flip. So 1 third times 6 over square root of 229. And then I'm going to have 5 halves times 6 over square root of 229. And that will reduce. 3 goes into 6 twice. So that gives us negative 2 over square root of 229. I'm not going to worry about rationalizing it. Feel free if you'd like to. And then this one, the 2 goes into the 6 three times. So that would be 15 over square root of 229 day. And one way that you could check your work is to go ahead and find the magnitude of this. So to do that, we would square this, square this. So that would be 4 over 229, and this would be 225 over 229, which gives us 229 over 229, which is 1. So that does have a magnitude of 1. So I think it did that right. 